This is the Twisted Gun statue. And that can mean only one thing. I'm in Malmo, Sweden. So welcome to Malmo. I've been here for nearly three days, but uh, I've been too, la too lazy to make a video. The weather's been perfect up until this morning where we have drizzly rain. So let that be a lesson to me. Strike when the weather is good. Anyway, let's have a quick look around Malmo, I'm sorry, Malmo, and I will give you my thoughts on Sweden as a country as a whole. Let's go. I quite like the effort they've gone to here. You see a lot of the uh, manhole covers have the, uh, the city emblem. Across the canal here is the old town. This canal runs all the way around the whole old town. And if you head up that way, there's a 14th century castle, which has a separate little moat that runs around it as well. Uh, most of the things of interest are contained within the old town. And uh, we're going to go and have a look. In Melbourne, when you go to the Metropolitan Railway Station, it's always a challenge to find a car park for your car. Here, it's a challenge to find a place to park your bicycle. And it's not just here, there's a second yard over there that's absolutely full, a third one down here that's absolutely full. Have a look at the bicycles parked here. It goes on for hundreds of metres. Got another infestation of bicycles here, more over there, and not a single one worth stealing. <laughs> These guys, the water's coming out of their eyes, their ears, their mouth, everywhere but their old fella. Is that a bit demonic? Birds take their showering serious here. Very clean. Without a doubt, the number one thing I will remember Sweden for is thicker, or the extreme cafe culture. It's magnificent. If you find yourself here, try out as many cafes as you can. Oh, and don't forget to have a cinnamon scroll as well. crossed over to the uh, far side of Old Town and here you'll find one of uh, Malmo's most desirable attractions the disgusting food museum here you can see smell and taste some of the most gross foods from around the world sounds great doesn't it well it's peak season right now and here yesterday it was Sunday it's Monday now, no, Saturday. There were people lined up out the door waiting to pay money so they could go in there and want to be grossed out. I hear it's very, very good. I was going to go in, but there were just so many people yesterday that uh, I gave it up as a bad idea. Good work, boys. I think we have a bucks party. <laughs> Interesting piece of artwork. Oh, these are people's shoes. 
Harry Arnold, 1920 to 1971. Olga, Edvard, oh, Neymar, Karl Gustav Cruz of Virtue. Wow. Ah, oh, there we go, more traditional. Middle of Old Town also has some beautiful parks and of course the uh, obligatory old cemetery. We're getting a bit of a graveyard theme on some of these uh, videos and what I've noticed about this one which is culturally different to us is quite often on the headstones they have written the person's occupation. I'm presuming that says veterinarian. I'm pretty confident on that, but I'm not 100% sure. But yes, I've noticed that on many of the headstones, they actually have the uh, person's occupation listed. I hadn't seen that anywhere before either. Malmo actually is a seaside town, and there is a beach here, so you can go to the beach if you want to. Uh, you've got to be pretty lucky with the weather to say they're... Um, summers are a little bit underwhelming i think would be being kind and the other thing is the beach probably not going to make the top 100 most beautiful beaches in the world list but you certainly can go there and have a swim if you're desperate got some uh, religious symbolism here got the uh, deceased gaining their wings and Ascending to heaven by the looks of it. So we have the uh, the man up there holding what looks to be stars Sweden is a, a modern country economically and uh, They actually don't use the euro even though they're part of the European Union I've been here for more than a week and I've not bothered to change any of my money into the local currency you can get away in Sweden with just having your FPOS card or your credit card. You just, uh, you just don't need to get the local currency. It's uh, really convenient in that aspect. Of course, we're in Europe, so every old town has the obligatory square fan patterned cobblestones. Here's another good thing about Sweden, all of their artworks, their public displayed artworks. Very impressive, a lot of it. Certainly make the cities very, very enjoyable. Negative surprises in Sweden. Probably it's not quite as clean as I thought it would be. Just a, just a little bit of general litter and there's a lot of, you know, black stains on the ground from chewing gum. It's, um, yeah, I always had this image that it would be pristine. But uh, if anything, it's not quite as clean as the Baltic countries. Another thing I will remember about Sweden is the meatballs. Every restaurant you go into, meatballs are on the menu. Those tiny little Swedish meatballs quite tasty and of course if you're hankering for some you can always go into your local IKEA shop they have them on the menu probably the second biggest thing I'll remember this country for is bicycles just the sheer staggering number of bicycles getting around I guess places like uh, Vietnam have their scooters and here in Sweden they have their bicycles. If you want to engage in the bicycle culture whilst you are here, every city always has bicycle rental. Next big positive, the people. The people have been fantastic. So, so friendly. And uh, pretty much everybody speaks English. It's been very, very easy 
but uh, everybody I've encountered has been willing and uh, wanting to help me if I needed it. So that's a big thumbs up for that. Well, that's it from Sweden for me. Should you visit Sweden? Absolutely. But if you've only got time to visit one city, it is without a doubt, you should go to the capital in Stockholm. Amazing city, huge galleries, waterways, history, the old town, the restaurants, the culture, the feel of the place. So without hesitation, I would say, if you're coming to Sweden, you must go to Stockholm. Anyway, that's it for today. See you in the next video.